Important thing to remember when dealing with patients with medullary carcinoma of the thyroid is, number one, you have to make sure that there is no pheochromocytoma. So make sure you do a functionality test or imaging to rule out a pheochromocytoma. The standard way is to get serum and urinary metanephrines and VMA levels to make sure that there is no pheochromocytoma. Number two, if there is a tissue biopsy such as an FNA performed and you are concerned that this could be a medullary carcinoma, make sure you ask your pathology to stain it for calcitonin and for amyloid and to see if there is medullary carcinoma or not because if it is then you would again go back to ruling out a pheochromocytoma. For pheochromocytoma if there is one you have to resect it first and then you can take care of the thyroid at a later time. The tumor marker for surveillance and also for follow-up and uh, assessment of uh, therapy, future prognostic uh, implications lies with serum calcitonin. Since it is a poorly differentiated tumor, thyroglobulin and radioactive iodine are not a part of their post-operative care.